In Creole Parametric, you can create a 3D cross-section on a drawing. To do that, you're going to use something called zones. And just like with 2D cross-sections, it's much easier to do this if you do it in the model and not the drawing. Let's see how to create these different zones. I am on the Model tab. If I go to the Section drop-down, the bottom choice here is Zone. And you'll get a dialog box that opens up. From this drop-down list, there are four different ways that you can set up a zone. One is by using half space, which is one side or the other side of a datum plane or flat plane or surface. Inside or outside of a quilt, a radial distance from a point or a vertex or some other location, or using an offset coordinate system. With the offset coordinate system, you're going to select a reference coordinate system and then define a box with X, Y, and Z offsets from that coordinate system. For doing a 3D cross-section, really the only one that works well is half space. Uh, one of the other ones that does work is inside or outside of a quilt, but you really don't have any control over whether you want the components inside or outside of that quilt. It's just whatever's inside of the quilt that you define. So again, half space is the best way of doing it. And if you're wondering why are there these other methods if they don't work for 3D cross sections? Well, that's because zones were actually originally created for selecting components for simplified representations. I'm gonna cancel out of here for a moment. Back in the day, if you wanted to select multiple components, you didn't have the ability of swiping a box and then getting a whole bunch of different components selected. That did not work in the past. So that's why you had to use these different zones. But anyhow, for defining my zone, I'm going to turn on my datum plane display from the In Graphics toolbar, and I've got three different datum planes visible. Let's go back to the zone command, which you can actually get to also from the manage views overflow. And again, we've got the dialog box in here, and it's prompting us whether we want to use the negative side or positive side of a reference. And I'll start by selecting this particular datum plane. And right now the arrows are pointing in this direction. For the quarter cut that I want to do in my drawing view, I want to get rid of this side over here. And so you want the blue arrows pointing in the direction of the side you want to keep. So this is the wrong side. So let me use the change orientation button. And so that's good. Now the arrows are pointing on that side. And for defining my quarter cut, I'm going to add in another datum plane. And I will select this plane over. Well, is that the one that I want? Let me zoom in over here. This is the one I want. I want it going right through the middle over there. And right now it's pointing in this direction. That's not the direction. I want to go and flip it. And it's going to say, by default, the positive side of this datum plane and the positive side of that datum plane. If you're trying to do a quarter cut for a 3D drawing view, you want to use the OR operator. You want positive side of that one or positive side of this one. And let's add in our third plane. Just want to make sure, okay, I got that one, I got that one. Now I need an up or down one. So let me hit the plus sign and then find the plane that I want to use. It's this one and it's pointing upwards. Once again, I need to flip this and it's got the OR operator in there. If, now, the sad thing is if you hit the preview button, it's just going to show you the different arrows in here. But I will click the OK button. And I don't need to see my datum planes. Let's turn off their display and repaint the screen. I don't know what's selected on there. Let's take a look at the bottom of the model tree. So here are a couple of 2D sections that were previously defined in here. I'm going to expand the footer. And actually in doing the research for this video, uh, down here, this is called the regeneration folder. And the only thing that can appear in regeneration folder, in the regeneration folder, are features that do not affect the topology and they reference the final geometry. And these are actually called declaration features. I just learned that. And so the different kinds of entities that you can have in here are your zones, like you see over here, published geometry features, annotations 
data reference features, and component interfaces. Right now, it is using a default name for the cross-section. I'm going to right-click on it and choose Rename. And let's call this cross-section C. And that's the one that I'm going to use in a drawing view. Let's create our drawing. I'll go to File, New, Drawing. And I'll leave the default name. I'm not going to use a template. I'm just going to use a format. I'll use my standard format. I will click the OK button. And now it asks me for what representation I want to use in the drawing view. I will use the master representation. Which sheet of the format do I want to use? I want to use sheet one. And the format wants a bunch of different parameters to fill in the title block and revision block. So I just hit the enter key or the check mark just to use basically a null value. All right, so I've got my drawing sheet created. Let's make a general view. I will right click and then from the pop-up menu choose general view. I'm not going to use a combined state. And let's put the drawing view right there in the middle of the sheet. In the drawing view properties dialog box, I'm going to use the ISO view. Let me hit the apply button, get a repaint real quick. Let's see, the scale looks too small. Let's go to the scale over here. I'm going to use a custom scale. Let's try 0.25 and then hit the apply button. Eh, you know what? Let's make it bigger. Hit the apply button again. There we go. Nice big view on here. The view display looks terrible. Let me go over here and change this from no hidden line. I'm going to do shading with edges. And let's see some of the other different things that I want to do in here. Hidden line removal for cross hatches. Yes. Hidden line removal edge display quality. I really need to change a config option so that I use something like medium instead of follow environment. I hate any settings that are follow environment. And let's go click the OK button over here. I do have some other geometry that is showing up in here that I don't want. Let me go to my layers, which I have added to my quick access toolbar. Let's hide all the layers. That's good. Just do a quick repaint to make sure. And now I have my view. Let's reposition it a little bit more in the middle of the drawing sheet. Let's grab this little note over here and move it up. And let's see, now to get my section view in there, I could have done it when I was creating the view, but I wanted to make things nice and pretty before that. Let's go to the sections command. And right now it has no section listed in here. Let's choose the radio button for a 3D cross section. By the way, 2D cross section is grayed out because you cannot use shading with edges with a 2D cross section. If I go back to the view display over here and change it maybe to no hidden line and apply. Looks like it already grabbed the section in there, but now I do have the ability to use a 2D cross section if I want. If I hit the plus sign, it says, hey, wait, it's inappropriate to use either of those cross sections in this ISO view. But let's quit out of there and once again go back to 3D section. We have a drop down list. I only have the one 3D section, so that's the only one that's available. And here we have a checkbox to show the cross hatching. Let me click the OK button out of here for a moment and we can zoom in and you can see my quarter cut that is going through here. Now let's go back to the drawing view properties. If I left click on the drawing view, I get the mini toolbar and then can choose the properties icon. Let's go to view display and I think this would look much better shading with edges and then click the OK button and it updates. I could go back and adjust the cross hatching if I want, but I think that is a really nice looking quarter cut in the model, which was achieved with a 3D section via zones. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.